right guys, so this week we're going to do another episode all about mushrooms. Mushrooms etc was nice enough to send us a whole bunch of mushrooms and different things to try out. So uh, we'll put their website link in the comments below. But we are going to kind of build some raised bed boxes and try and get a bunch of mushrooms going that will hopefully pop up. Some in the spring, summer, um, the other ones won't come up to the fall. Being on the ocean rather than going to lumber yard and buying a bunch of wood, we're going to head down to the beach, get some driftwood and get the chainsaw out and build it that way. So we're going to top up our, our gas and our oil on the chainsaw here and get going. Let's hit it. Hey, and while we're doing an episode about uh, mushrooms, we thought we'd give you an update on some of the ones that we had planted. And to be honest, we haven't been checking enough, so these ones have kind of dried out. Um, but last year, if you've been following us for a while, we tried putting some straw um, and some uh, substrate and mycelium into uh, one of our stumps. Um, we did get some oyster mushrooms. These guys have kind of dried out, so we're going to pick those off and we'll wet those down again and hopefully we'll get uh, another fruiting. But uh, yeah, those are pretty dried out, but we've got some other ones in another stump that uh, we'll take you down and show as well. But uh, either way, excited to get a few mushrooms in our stir fry tonight. So we also had another stump that we tried it in and uh, since that we've put in our fence here, so it's on the other side of the fence line now. Um, but same sort of thing, we actually planted these in coffee grounds. So it's interesting to know that, that works as well. The first one there was straw and this one was in coffee. Um, but these guys seem to have done quite, uh, quite well and the bugs have gotten to them a little bit, unfortunately, but um, yeah, you can see they're kind of eating away at them, but we'll cut around that and uh, get some more oyster mushrooms off of that. So it's great to know they'll grow in a natural uh, stump as opposed to having to use plastic buckets. Okay, so we've got a kind of shaded uh, area that we're not really using on the other side of our property on the house there. So it uh, gets a lot of shade, which you want. gets a little bit of filtered sunlight uh, in the evening, but won't be too much. Um, and it's close to the garden, so it's easy for us to kind of water and keep wet when we have to. So. Um, this is our kind of layout here. We're going to build some raised boxes and then we'll uh, get going putting in all the substrate and the mushrooms. Wrong bit. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Like it, you're doing so At least not job. without warning, right? Catch my breath. <laughs> I'll take out the audio. Okay, thanks. You just look so strong. Oh. Really. Yeah, I thought I sound it. <laughs> so, these actually, as we're kind of reusing beech wood came from an old uh, kitchen table that we had, or not kitchen, a living room table that we had. So we took the grinder and uh, 
Cut it down so we can use the rebar. Not quite, eh? My technical measurement. <laughs> Will they say measure twice, cut once? Is that the rule? Yeah. These boxes aren't going to be that precise, I don't think. Oh, I like a glove. Okay, one more trip to the beach. Have fun. Uh -huh. See, I got this one. <laughs> I'm not out of breath. You come out, I just go. <laughs> I was really scared that way. <laughs> okay, so we've got our uh, kind of raised bed built here, and we're going to start stacking and layering things uh, in there to plant our mushrooms. Um, and the two types of mushrooms uh, that we got very generously from uh, Mushrooms Etc are wine caps and also Namekos. So we're gonna do one of each of the raised beds and uh, the wine caps hopefully we'll get some later this spring, summer. Uh, the Namekos we won't get until the fall but we're still gonna plant them and uh, get them in there and get them going. First thing is to get a bunch of cardboard uh, down at the bottom, keeps the weeds out. Also mushrooms really like cardboard uh, and we'll kind of eat that as well as a food source. So we're gonna put that in the bottom and get that wet. Give that a good uh, soak now that we've got that in there. I'm gonna get nice and wet. And normally we would have liked to get some sort of hardwood chips from the island, but we're having trouble a little tracking them down and we wanted to get going on it. So we've got some uh, hardwood pellets, and that's gonna be the first layer that goes on top. half of this in and then we're going to do another layer of the hardwood on top and these are kind of just like your sawdust bags if you've watched some of our earlier videos um, we've kind of grown mushrooms ourselves in sawdust so um, you just kind of want to break it up in various sized chunks and spread that around in the wood pellets. Again, I think ideally we probably want a little bit more in there, but we're going to put a lot of straw on top of that, so hopefully that'll do. Yeah. And now we'll break up the rest on there. Now we're going to add a whole bunch of straw. So we want to make sure they're totally covered, so we'll make sure we have a nice thick layer on there. And the nice thing about having some extra room, I was about to double check if we can do this, but I think we can, is that we can, uh, once you sort of get the first fruiting, we can add in some other layer of hardwood chips and add some more straw. Um, and keep that cycle going again, so. Okay, that's probably good, so we'll give that uh, spray down again. And that is the first one. Okay, so first one's done. Now we're gonna try our Nameko mushrooms. So I've never grown these before, actually. It's the first time for us on that, so I'm excited to see how they turn out, but there's a lot of things with mushrooms we're not gonna know until the fall. We'll start with our first pair of hardware pellets, or hardwood pellets, sorry.
Okay, so we got both of our beds of mushrooms planted there uh, as well. Again, big thank you to mushrooms, etc. We'll put their link down below uh, if you want to get your own mushrooms to try this with. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get some in the spring and uh, the Namekos in the fall. And we'll uh, obviously keep you updated with videos on how they're coming along.